Hello everyone, Debbie with Lake House Soapery, and I'm coming today to do a soap making. I have not done a soap making. I haven't done, I have not done. I haven't made any soaps on video in a long time. The reason is I get nervous. So I don't know, we'll talk through this or I'll get nervous and we'll do a voiceover on it. So, but here we go. Either way, we're gonna give it a try. So I'm making a soap for Hella Handmade Creations. Um, I've made lots of soaps for them and I'm starting over with a new theme. Uh, it started in February. I did wax melts for my, for, I did wax melts for my first um, soap, not soap, God dang it. I changed it up a little bit this time and I needed a little bit of break from soap making just because of the amount of time it takes. I've been busy at work at home. We're doing a remodel project, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I didn't want to do a soap. I didn't have time for it, but I did a wax melt. And I did these really fun wax melts called Flying Monkey Muffins. It's a wax melt. It's scented in banana nut bread and homemade jam. And those were February. I thought those were fun to do. You can see the glitter on there, yummy. So, yep, my theme is Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I guess I kind of gave it away. Anyway, um, whoo. Um, anyway, so yes, it's the theme is Wizard of Oz. And the first soap I'm gonna make is actually the Tin Man. If, um, what does he say? If I only had a heart, I need a heart. If I only had a heart. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Tin Man and the heart. So we're going to do, actually I'm gonna use my smaller mold this time around. This guy only holds 10 bars of soap, so I've remade this a couple of times already. Um, I wanted the bars to be skinnier and taller because the shape of the Tin Man makes sense to me. Um, so we're gonna use that and we're gonna use a column mold, which is in the shape of a heart. We're gonna place that down on the inside of the soap so that each of the soaps have a little heart in them because a Tin Man wanted a heart, right? And I'm not sure if you knew this. I did not until I did some research, but the different characters in The Wizard of Oz are symbolic. So the Tin Man, even though he didn't think he had a heart, he did, and his heart, he, it, it says in the, um, in the research that I did that he was the most loving and caring character in The Wizard of Oz character cast. There you go little known fact by me. You may have known it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so we're going to go ahead and get started today. I have my oils already melted. Um, they were, I made the oils in the live water, I don't know, maybe about a week ago and I ran, ran out of time to get this last batch done. So um, it's been covered up and sitting for a little bit. So it's not as clear as it normally would be if you just melted it, but it's all been melted and we won't have any problems with it. And I have my lye water here um, and that's been made ahead of time and ready to go. So I'm gonna put my safety goggles on, I have my gloves on, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So the colorant that we're gonna use is called Black Knight Mica. Can you see that? It's gonna look grayish. I'm only gonna put enough in there to color it to look a little bit grayish. And to make sure that I get these mixed in really good, the color it really good, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this just down in the oils now and mix it in and we'll adjust the color as we go if we need to. Uh, the other additive I'm gonna place in is the fragrance oil and it's called Spiced Cider. Oh my gosh, this is so good, let me see. I don't know, it's like a, it has floral notes in it too, but you know I'm terrible if you watch enough of my videos. I don't do a very good job with scents. I'll look it up, I'll see if I can put it in the description. This is yummy. Here we go, so we have the 
colorant floating around in here, the mica powder floating around in here. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir with the old blender. This is just the oils, no live water. All right, let me show you this a little bit closer. All right, that's what the color looks like. And it looks a little green in here, but I promise you it turns a gray color once the soap starts to set up. I don't know, we may not need much more than this in here for the color that we're trying to get. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the lye water in. So I've got all the oils, it's olive, palm, coconut, castor, sweet almond. And those are the oils that are in here. And then we'll go ahead and add the lye water in. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it through a strainer just in case there's any clumps in here. And I use a water discount, which means that um, I don't have quite as much water in it um, as maybe some recipes do. If you don't have quite as much water in it, the, the effect is that your soaps dry a little bit quicker, maybe cure out a little bit quicker because as they cure, they, um, the water evaporates in them, which is what you want them to do. So I use a little bit of a water discount um, in my soaps to help them dry up a little bit quicker. So here we go. All right, so we've got the lye water in here and we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir and bring it to a light trace. Another mix. I want this to be kind of thick because I want to be able to set my embed, my hearts, down in there. This actually looks pretty good. All right, let me get this cleaned off. Get all that soap batter off of there. Let's see if I can get some of these air bubbles out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pour this in to the mold. I just realized I have my glasses hanging off of me. I'm gonna pour this about three quarters of the way full. We'll save the rest for the top. because I want the heart to be kind of up where a heart would be, up near the top. So you stay right here. And we're gonna give this just a minute to kind of set up a little bit so we can suspend the hearts down inside of here. I already cut this to the size that I need. It needs to fit exactly in the mold so that it stretches uh, across all of the pieces or all of the bars when we cut them. There's some leftover glitter on here, which is okay because we're using the same glitter on this soap. Let me grab the glitter. All right, this is a glitter. It's eco-friendly hollow glitter, silver. Look at that. So pretty. All right. How are we doing in here? Not quite. All right, I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So what I'm looking for is you wiggle the soap and if it doesn't move around a whole lot, it can probably hold in our column mold. So I wanna put it in here. I'm gonna try to turn it a little bit, you know, give it a little twist <laughs> just because I think it would be cute, but honestly, I don't know. Last batch I made, the heart was ended up being slippery and just kind of slipped right down inside of there and I just had to leave it as it was. So, all right, here we go. Ooh, this might be a little bit too. Ugh, I'm gonna have to. Bleh, now it's dipped down in there. Oh no. All right, let me grab a knife. We'll cut a teeny bit off of it. 
this is near, it will do. I'm just going to cut a tiny slither off. I don't even know if that'll help. Not much. Okay. Here we go. Gently pushing the heart down in there. That's better. And I'm going to sink it in just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. There. This isn't a great camera angle for this type of thing. All right, so the next part of it is we're just gonna go ahead and pour the rest of the soap batter over top so that we get it to cover up the heart equally everywhere. What's behind me? That, ooh. Uh, when I get this kind of spooned in here, I'm gonna give it a kind of a whack down in the mold so that um, it covers everywhere evenly. That should be enough. Let's see. All right. One moment while I give it a whack down here. Okay, that's better. All right. So we're gonna let this kind of sit for just a minute here, and then we'll ladle the rest of the soap batter on top and kind of mound it up, and then we're gonna use the glitter on the top of it, and then we have some embeds to put on the top of it. So the first couple of loaves that I did, I put uh, an embed on the top of them. Let me show if I have any of those left, hold on. It looked like this and they sit on the top and it just looks to me, I was thinking the top of the, you know, the top of the Tin Man's head. And then when I watched a little bit of the Wizard of Oz on YouTube to work on my video, I noticed that the top of it is more shaped like this. <laughs> so I changed these last 10 bars to be a little bit different. So they're going to be more kind of pointed on the top like I saw in the YouTube video, but that's okay. You know, sometimes his head maybe look like this, sometimes it's a little pointy. I don't know. <laughs> Artistic freedom. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting this ladled on. I promise you, I know the color looks really off right now, but it will turn into a nice gray um, once we're done. I'm going to kind of ladle this on here at um, a bit of a mounded up. I want them to be kind of tall bars. I'll go back and clean up the sides here. This is where I stop talking because I get so nervous. All right, I'm gonna fiddle around with this until I get it the way that I want it to look. I have to be kind of careful. I have these marks on the side of the mold that indicate where my embeds go. And I don't want to cover those up. I need to see where those marks are so I can get everything lined up appropriately. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put these embeds. Oh, first, glitter. I really wanna put a lot of glitter on here. Because the Tin Man is shiny. I 
have a glitter sprayer. I need to put this glitter down in. It would be a lot better than this, but I couldn't find it and I didn't want to wait. So here we go. Leave no spot uncovered. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add the little Tin Man hats right down inside of there. Looks like that was one short. I think we're all lined up. I'm going to go back and do a little more glitter. All right, here we go. Let me pick this up and I'll show you. All right, we will be back in a little bit to give this a cut. See you in a little bit. So we are back. I have these guys unmolded and here's what it looks like. Let me move this around so you can see it. There is what they look like on the top. All of that hollow glitter. There's a little peep at the heart. No, lighting's not really great. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get these cut um, so that you can see the inside and what the hearts look like. All right, let's get our little tin soldiers up on the cutter. These are so shiny and fun. <laughs> All right, I think that's up there so that you can see it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna kind of cut it backwards because I want you to be able to see it. Ooh, already so close. I think I probably should start from the other side. Let's see. It all depends on how you put it in the mold and you line it up as to where everything is situated when you go to cut it. So it's kind of scary. All right, here we go. First cut. Perfectly lined up. And there's the heart. Eek, so cute. Lined up in, right, in the right place. A little bit of a tilt to it. Not as much as I wanted, but there it is. So these guys are so cute with the little tin hat, tin man hats on the top there. All right, let's keep cutting. These are all gonna look pretty much the same, but we'll cut a few of them so that you can see. I love this hollow glitter on the top. Oh my gosh, it is so sparkly. I hope you guys can see the sparkle on this. So adorable. And the heart. Love it. So we'll get these all cleaned up on the edges and smoothed down. And then the next step that I want to do with them, um, we're going to put some hollow glitter on the outside of the bars, which is a little different. I don't normally do that, but this is the Tin Man. And by golly, he should have some glitter on the outside of him. <laughs> So let me show you, I did this on another bar. Um, if you'll remember, I told you that I had um, a different type of top on the first ones that I did. Uh, it was a little more squared off. So let me show you one of those. I've already sprayed some glitter on him. So that's what this guy looks like. And you can see the hollow glitter on the outside of there. When you get these bars wet, in the shower, this glitter just sparkles like you would not believe. 
So I'm super excited for you guys to see the bars, um, see how they look with that sparkle in them when you have them in the shower. I just, I think you'll love, love them. And two different tops. This one probably looks a little bit more like the picture of the Tin Man, but this one in my head, for some reason, the way the top was, was uh, what I thought it looked like. So you'll either get the squared off version or the... Um, High top version, I guess we'll call it. High top, low top. <laughs> anyway, um, the color is a teeny bit different in the two bars, but it's just the different batches. Uh, but they're still um, roughly the same size. Adorable. Again, look at that hollow glitter. Just so much fun. So as I um, get each of the bars trimmed up, smoothed out with my um, trimmer, then, oh, you can already see some of the transfer of the hollow on there anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Spray them all with glitter. Yay. So fun. All right. So um, I'll be back in a minute to show you the packaging that I'm going to do with these. Um, I found these little hearts at Hobby Lobby. So incredibly cute. If you can see that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the bags again like I've been doing the muslin bags and I will put them down inside the muslin bags and this little heart will dangle off the top of it in kind of uh, in honor of the Tin Man who now has a heart. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I always appreciate and I'm just so floored by the number of bars that uh, get sold with each of the releases. It is incredibly uh, flattering and means a lot to me that you guys uh, come back and buy the soaps uh, month after month and I really appreciate it so much. Uh, just a big shout out and thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this release and trying to think of what to do for the next soap. I'm thinking it might be the Yellow Brick Road. Um, I have, um, let me show you. I found this mold at Hobby Lobby, my favorite place in the world. Uh, you can, it's a cake mold, a candy mold. You can see that there. And I was thinking I could make yellow brick road with this and lace the bars, lace, <laughs> and layer it on the tops of the bars um, and kind of decorate them up like a yellow brick road on the top. I have like a vision in my mind. We'll see how it goes. but. If I do the yellow brick row, this one will be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Anyway, that's one of my ideas. Uh, another one is ruby slippers. I could imagine that with um, a bunch of glitter all over on the tops of those. I don't know, we'll just have to see. There's so many possibilities. I might have to stretch this release over two months because there's just so many things to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Flying Monkey Wax Melt from February. And I think I'm probably going to throw in another wax melt. Um, it might be the I'm melting scene from when the witch gets water thrown on her and she melts. I mean, it would be appropriate for a wax melt, right? <laughs> All right, enough chatter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Here was my inspiration photo, and I loved how all of these packages just lined up so cutely. And I forgot to tell everybody, you will get a heart-shaped silly straw with each of the soaps. I mean, because why not? Okay, now, bye!